हाई आई एम डॉक्टर हृदय फ्राम हाइट इंक्रीज इन्फो तो आज हमारे साथ हमारे फीमर लेंदनिंग के पेशेंट हैं ये एक स्टेज वाइज हम लोग वीडियो बना रहे हैं ताकि उन लोगों को इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल पाए जो यूजली हम लोग जो पोस्ट करते हैं इनिशियल स्टेज में पोस्ट करते हैं या फिर फ्रेम निकलने के बाद पोस्ट करते हैं yes, अभी इनकी लेंदनिंग ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स पॉइंट वन और सिक्स पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर हो चुकी है फीमर में और इनका टारगेट हुई सेवन टू एट सेंटीमीटर है मैक्सिमम yes, तो कुछ दिनों में हार्डली टेन फिफ्टीन डेज में इनका फ्रेम निकल जाएगा फिक्सेटर रिमूव हो जाएगा तो इनका अब तक का जर्नी जानेंगे कि कितनी स्मूथ रही है या फिर कितनी हार्ड रही है कैसे इन्होंने अपने आपको मैनेज किया है क्योंकि मोस्टली वीडियोस हमारी फर्स्ट स्टार्टिंग और लास्ट में होती हैं तो ड्यूरिंग जर्नी अब तक कैसा रहा है सिक्स सेंटीमीटर तक का सफर वो इनसे जानेंगे Sir, actually, you know, my journey so far. I just want to express that. I tell you that my journey is like, you know, I to not that butter smooth or not that hard. You know, sometimes I feel really hard. You know, it's like two or three days, and most of the time I feel, you know, it's a normal and casual. Like when I reach my, you know, like I have reached six plus centimeters, and now I'm feeling, you know, a little bit of hardness. That's it, okay? Because it happens, right, sir? After six to after four five centimeter, you're soft to. so is in stretch stage so definitely you will feel a little hard and stretch. yes sir yes sir that is what i'm feeling you now but still you know uh, like i want to uh, my desire height i mean centimeter is more 7 plus actually so i am doing it and you know i'm not feeling that much you know hard because you know i have that confident i can make it because you know the kind of care here and the kind of support i am getting every day and that and many people have done this so if they are doing they did why can't i so that's why i'm doing it and yeah, i told you that my journey is like you know i will say that it's okay and normal so i also said in my most of the videos ke female lengthening is little harder than tibia lengthening yeah, yeah. so is it right for you this because you have another patient in your yes, room exactly. he did quadrilateral but when yes, you yes, came yes. here a frame he's in tibia tibial yes. frame so compared to that i feel felt that no initially you know like i felt like you know due to this heavy frames not that heavy due to frames and But initially how was initially 2 to 3 cm initial days how you felt in this initially you know like you know on and off pain the why initially i and uh, i didn't feel that much hard initially so it it went smooth only now like you know after reaching 6 plus cm after how many cm you felt okay, now this is going little hard for me now only like you know after 6 cm after 6 only before that you know my journey smooth only like i didn't feel that much hard and i, I didn't even complain that i am getting this this pain and i'm getting this kind of discomfort or any other pain related things i didn't complain i did lengthening daily and it went smooth only i did everything physio and uh, i everything went smooth only and if we talk about uh, daily routine daily activity sleeping pattern pain wise how was your journey yeah ha huh, sleeping pattern is you no know, like you know some days not you know say that once in 10 days i felt very discomfort while sleeping because of little bit of discomfort with uh, Uh, pains and all that time it will be there not more than one or two days but um, you know like i just you know pass the time by by watching videos and like that only but most of the time i get sleep around 11 to 12 and i woke up in the in the morning of around 7 so sleeping is good for you yeah it's good for me <laughs> i i totally know around 11 and 12 uh, pm I, i'll go to sleep and I, and what about sleeping pattern because in this frame you cannot lie on your side you have to lie down straight on your back completely flat yes like <laughs> i lie on flat only that's like this only i, I sleep and they, i can't move here and here and there because due to frames but okay initially like you know in the starting like 10 days before i didn't get the much sleep because i used to sleep like uh, rotating like this in my body but i used to it because of frames is there he slowly used to everything and you know it will be you know comfort that's it only okay and uh, why did you choose femur lengthening sir actually i I told you this because a lot of patient, a lot of people ask me, sir, what would you recommend? My recommendation is like if you planning in one segment, you can do any. Yes, sir. Yes, you are right. But this is your choice. Yes, sir. Usually people choose. I want to do femur lengthening or I want to do tibia lengthening. Yeah, I told you that. Nah, like I did a lot of research actually before you know doing this surgery. So like some doctor said, 
on videos that you know on tibia you can max up to 5 centimeters and after reaching 5 centimeters you may get equinus complication or because of achilles tendon tightness on femur there will be no that complications you can reach you know up to 8 centimeters so that femur femur joint will be little hard comparing to tibia but the recovery is you know much much better when we compare to tibia like that this kind of stuff i got on youtube and after you know knowing all these uh, things i decided for femur but later on when i came here i've seen many many people did tibia also they have reached eight centimeters with no deformities and no complication at all they are you know roaming here and there my friend he reached eight centimeters you know his journey is butter smooth and i, I think it all depends upon the persons i think he reached more than eight yes more than eight that is the thing <laughs> yeah that's it so how did you find this is better or in if we asked you if any patient asks you what you recommend sir the thing is that i did this thing now sir i only recommend this thing because you know for me it feels better now i have seen uh, you know tbi patients also some you know did great and some other you know like a little bit complications but i didn't know about the thing like how it goes i did femur and i felt like you know a little bit of discomfort but later on i used to it and now i am feeling good like you know i lengthened six centimeters and more few centimeters i mean a few millimeters left for me to reach my goal so if anybody asks me like you know you can for go for femur but the thing is that there will be little discomfort and you know it's not that can't bear that discomfort it, you will get it you will easily get used to it and uh, i'll only tell you that you won't regret if you go for femur okay so if you do tibia and then you will regret no 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 <laughs> actually <laughs> depend upon person to person if people ask who is doing tibia lengthening they definitely suggest you do tibia this is much better you can lie on your side and you can do movement yes 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 sir that is also correct actually but recovery and you know like you know tibia has that benefit and you know femur has this benefit like in recovery you will get fast recovery so this is personal choice so this is his review he lengthen 6 cm i think 1 or 2 cm left to reach his goal yes sir so we will know his journey after fixator removal in recovery time so till then if you have query regarding limb lengthening limb reconstruction so number is given below thank you